How's it going there, YouTube? Well, hopefully you guys can see me over here, all right? I've got you guys set up on the tripod on the W4. But I think I've got kind of an interesting video here for you guys today. I wanted to kind of explain what it costs to restore a tractor in the year 2020. Now, I understand there are several variables to this. You know, it depends on condition, what you're starting with. Of course, I'm going to include the initial purchase price of the tractor in this video. As well, you know, it can need tires, it needs this, it needs that. You know, it depends if you need a machine shop work or not. There's, of course, many, many variables to this video, but I'm going to use the W4 as my example. Now, of course, I had a very good tractor to start with. The tin work was nice and straight. It had good front tires on it. I got to find a back tire to match this side here. Overall, I had a very good tractor to start with. Now, my original purchase price from W4, my bid was $800 at the auction. So by the time they put the taxes on and their administration fees and all the auction fees and whatnot, $928. Now, got the tractor home, of course, blah, 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 blah. Parts. Of course, I did the ignition system, so that included uh, plugs, wires, uh, distributor cap. This is my order from Charlie's, Charlie Richards when I after got the tractor here, but I got just about Christmas time, did the unboxing video on. So it was plugs, wires, cap, uh, belts, and the rad hoses. Uh, I think that was it. So my order from Charlie's was $146. The rad hoses from Steiner's almost $4 because they were ordered from the States, plus the shipping and all that. All this includes shipping and taxes and all that, so it's a pretty close number, but they are still kind of ballpark. Now, this might shock some of you guys. Paint. Of course, I've been doing a lot of paint work. Of course, painting a track is a big job. I kind of took it to an extreme. Took everything apart. Most as I can. Nuts and bolts and wire wheeled everything. Primer painted. I do two coats of primer, two coats of paint. So, in reality, it's like you're painting a tractor four times. But, you know, that's what you got to do to make things nice. Anyway, so far I got two cans of silver at $35.50. $15.51 each. The red paint is the same because I'm using the Case International Iron Guard paint. $15.51 each. I figured I've used about 9 cans so far because I did clean some cans out. At $139.59. Primer is $8.99 each. I figured I've used 10 cans so far because I've got another can there. $89.90. Degreaser, $6.99. I've used two. $13.98. WD-40, $8.00. And brake clean at $17.00. 97 for three cans for a grand total of uh, I guess I'll call it aerosols $384.84 now I do still need a battery box for this like I said I'm not completely done the tractor yet this is what I've got tied up in it so far I'm looking for a battery box without a lid I'm looking for another one of these tires I did find a guy with this tighter steering box in uh, like I said Brighton before if he wants $60 for the steering box so that's okay I have to get that out there and go get it so, so far, the W4, I've got $1,498.84. And in reality, painting some parts, it, it goes pretty fast. But I'm going to look through my records because I do have receipts from when my grandfather. It was either, I think he got for this tractor here. Then when he did the 80 and whatnot, he's got all the, all the machine shop receipts and all the receipts from when he restored uh, all his tractors from back in the day so of course that was back 1975 area I might do a comparison video here and then we can see just what uh, things are like from now and then of course he did a lot more extensive work than what I've done in the W4 but I got lucky the W4 didn't need a whole lot just some stuff here and there a little freshen up in the cosmetic department I guess we'll call it and you know quick little tune up and whatnot and I'm gonna do another video here probably on the weekend of what it it cost me to do tractor show season last year. That's hauling tractors around, uh, tractor fuel, you know, camping, food, the whole nine yards. So I'm going to do a video like that here maybe tomorrow or on Sunday. But anyway, if you guys like that video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you on the next one.